Women who've done time. What was women's prison like? I got locked up in women's prison when I was 21. When you first get there they ask if you're addicted to anything. If you said benzos or alcohol, they dosed you up with 4 milligrams of clonop in a day. Anyone who's been there before knows this, so for the first 2 weeks when I was in the drug treatment area, for other things, I didn't know about the clonopin. Things were very chill. There was a few verbal fights. Big kind of a camaraderie between the women like. We're all just addicts trying to get through this together. We had groups and AA. It was a daily thing for all. Which was most except me. The women with children to break down crying about missing them and how they'd literally anything for their kids now that they're sober. You were in a trailer with two floors. There was rooms with four bunks in them and a community bathroom with individual showers. Lots of hooking up in the bathroom stalls and showers. Something really weird. Every few days they passed out electric shavers. There was one for each bunk and there would be a line of girls using these old shavers to dry shave their legs and pubes in the bathroom. Some of them would flip them and use the non-cutting side as a celeb corn cob on others. Freaking gross. I never even considered shaving. There was a microwave you could sometimes use and access to hot water to make noodles and coffee. They gave out stamps, paper and pens to write home if you asked and gave you pads. One roll of toilet paper. Ghetto shampoo soap and toothbrush paste. During rec time you could walk around the compound. But there were also classes like yoga, AA, zumba, gym, library, etc. After two weeks there I got moved to the maximum security part. Here you were in a high tech building with one bunk in each room and locked in for most of the day. Or else you could go in the community room and watch TV a few hours a day. No more access to hot water. Women who didn't pay a fine were locked up with baby killers. They were the most shunned. One baby killer got attacked because she asked for my oatmeal I wasn't eating. No more classes of any kind. You had to be there for over 5 years to be put in the trailers by where the drug program was. They even had dogs and could go to the library and pick out books instead of just picking from books left behind. I saw a girl almost do getting her face smashed into a metal door frame. Lots of fights. It really was awful. This is getting long so I'm gonna stop but if anyone has questions I'm happy to answer. Keep going if you want to this was riveting. I worked in jail on women's units for a while. Had a girl come up to me and tell me the cologne I used. I hadn't worn it in 4 days. Not me but an ex's older sister got 3 DUIs and the last one meant she did a few weeks in jail. She was hot but in a trashy way. One of the first things she said she learned was how to make a prison corn cob out of a toilet paper roll, saran wrap, napkins and a rubber band. She said she didn't use one, but she said it was more carnal there than she expected. She's a fine member of society now, but just had a bit of a reckless stage. Still makes me chuckle thinking about that prison corn cob though. 3 DUIs. Reckless. Phew. Thank god. I was in a jail for non-violent offenders. Not prison. It wasn't so bad. Honestly. Each sleeping area had 3 bunk beds, 6 lockers, and a payphone. No doors. We got up at 6am and lined up for breakfast. Each room had to stay together. Technically order didn't matter, but the women who had been there a while liked to make sure everyone was always in the same spot. Probably help them feel like they some sort of control, I guess. Food was served on your basic cafeteria trays. Drinks were in these red plastic cups that reminded me of a toddler's learning cup. Things were pretty quiet for the most part. You weren't supposed to share food, but the guards were pretty lax. Most of the day was free time. There was a big living room type area with couches, chairs, and bookshelves. The book selection was horrendous, but most of them didn't bother to read. Outside time was pretty typical of what you'd see on TV. Just a concrete ground with a few basketball hoops. At night, they alternated between movies and church. The movies were regular, mainstream movies. My bunkner yelled at me on my first morning because I put my glasses on her locker. The top of her locker was right next to my bed. Almost like an end table for me so I thought it'd be okay. But IT was not. She wasn't angry. But she was severe enough that I slept with my glasses on from then on out. We were allowed to wear casual clothes. But for some reason. I can't for the life of me remember why. I couldn't wear mine. So one girl let me borrow her nice pair of orange prison pants. 
She told me to be careful with them because they were the pair she reserved for wearing to court. One woman was always reading her horoscope, but a lot of the time she didn't understand what certain words meant, or didn't know how to pronounce them. Overall, it was pretty laid back and chill, but thinking of the women in there always depresses me. Mom was a corrections officer for a long time, so she worked in a jail not prison. She said there was a ton of drama and fricking in the women's unit compared to the men's. She referred to it as working with the BLOL I miss my frickin mom. As someone who spent time in jail, yes the same jail my mom worked at, I can tell you drama in the men's unit is usually at a 0 or a 10. The women's unit was probably more of a constant 6. The B just walked around like they were in a high school dorm haha. I'm not a woman, and I haven't done time, but my mum did. It was before I was born, and though I never knew why she got locked up because she would never tell me, I think it was something to do with prostitution or breaking and entering. Though she was still naturally beautiful, prison had done a lot of damage to her physically. She'd had her nose broken in multiple places, so it was really crooked and busted in. She would tell me how some of the bigger women in prison would try to physically eschew alter, violate, I guess, but how, in her own words, and I loved this about her, that she would take the beatings of her life before she would let them do that to her. She was only a small woman, not much over 5 feet 2 and was pretty skinny, but she had the heart of a giant, so I am sure she would have made it heck for anyone trying to take advantage of her like that. She passed away from a drink driving accident when I was 16. She was an alcoholic, and though she'd defeated a lot in her life, alcohol was something she couldn't. So, woman's prison sounded like a rough place coming from her. I really miss her, and I wish I could've asked her more about it in the rest of her life before she had me. But no matter what, though she was a bit of an outcast to society, she was and will always be my hero. Love you mum. Hugs. I taught get prep at a county house of correction for about 6 years. About halfway through I started splitting time between the men's and women's units. I agree with other posters that the drama was always at about a 6. Mostly about who was writing letters to whose man on the out. It made me sad how these women were so convinced that they needed a man to take care of them and would do anything to keep one. Even though it was usually their boyfriend who got them into drugs and prostitution in the first place. I really never got hit on. But the first time I was up there I tutored three women for about an hour. And as we were leaving the classroom one of them thanked me for working with them. Another lady said close the door a minute. I'll thank you but it was just a laugh. I did hear some stories about the night shift. But who knows. I left kind of abruptly. A high school called and offered me a job. Pretty much the next day. As high schools tend to do. But I negotiated a week to transition. When I announced to my female students I was leaving. One of them just burst into tears. All in all, the women and men were just different. The men more jokey and the women more serious, interested in kids and family and such. Just thought of something. The women tended to do shorter bids and crash back more quickly. I would see the same guys maybe twice in a 6 years. The same women 3 or 4 times. Man, I feel really bad for that woman who cried. You must have been like the one ray of sunshine in her life for her to have a reaction like that. My mom has had a couple of stints in jail prison. I could always ask her if she'd be willing to do an AMA. She's definitely made some poor choices and served time for those choices and she isn't shy about it, especially if it were to be in a somewhat anonymous fashion such as Reddit. I bet there are quite many people who would like to attend that. The best way I can describe it is like a boarding school full of every type of female you can imagine. I spent about 2 months at a facility with around 400 women whose charges ranged from small petty crimes, to debauchery and murder. Everyone had their own cliches that they kept too, but there was a lot of stupid drama. Try to think of the most troubled girls from high school, and then imagine 400 of them stuck together, in a place that is miserable, where they are isolated from their family and the rest of society. That's basically the gist of it, but like any community, there are good people and bad people, and most of the time you can find a like-minded individual to make friends with. The facility I was at had a huge library, pretty good food, and cable TV, so I considered myself lucky in that aspect. I mostly kept to myself and read a lot, and I never got into any fights, and stayed out of trouble for the most part. Drugs and contraband still got in, a lot. 
that always made things interesting. I met some really strange people, and saw women who committed unspeakable crimes. It opened my eyes to a lot of things I had never seen before. Overall though, my time wasn't as bad as it could have been, and I learned some things, and hopefully I will never go back. A high school ex-girlfriend of mine went to ladder jail for prescription drugs. She said that all the inmates would bark at her when she walked by because she was the puppy of the pound. She got an improvised tattoo from a wood staple in a mechanical pencil, and apparently they have a lot of freedom there. We exchanged letters. You could get her to do a snail mail AMA, gather questions for her to answer and send back. It could be neat. My sis is in juvie and she's the only girl there. They are in separate areas, but she basically in solitary confinement. Says it sucks. I've been to jail twice. No prison though. Most people told me I didn't look like I belonged in jail. Gave me the WTF did you do to land here one of the male guards flirted with me about my tattoos. Mainly I just keep to myself until I got out though. I was the only blonde girl there when I went that got me a lot of attention. I had an ex and a good friend that were both locked up. Different times but in the same state. They both pretty much reported the same stuff. A lot of drugs, had people offering them prescription pills immediately upon entry, a dearth of good books, and butthole guards. The ex didn't get undergarments for the first week she was there for literally no reason other than someone forgot to give her them at some point and they didn't want to admit to it. The friend is a strict, whole life, vegan and they wouldn't give her veggie meals, even though they're supposed to. She ended up having to eat only bread and apples the entire time she was there, lost a ton of weight and still has digestive problems to this day. Mind you, both of these women were model prisoners, scared white girls from middle class families that made straight as in school, both went in for drug alcohol issues, and they still got treated like crap. I can only imagine what it must be like for the troublemakers. Mom went to prison for 2.53 years. I got to visit her roughly 1-2 times per month and a call like once a week for like 2 minutes. This is as best as I can describe her experience there at Lowell Correctional Institution from what she told me during visitation. Light side. She got to read a lot. She took a class in drafting. She got in the best shape she'd been in 12 years. Alcohol addiction was broken and she made a few friends. Dark side. Many times I visited her and she told me that girls she knew had died or killed others. She was once locked in solitary for a while just for witnessing a brawl. Sunlight is scarce and usually treasured. She hated count. The guards would frequently screw up count and so everyone would have to stand around for a long time until the guards figured it out. That's all I can remember at the moment. I'm a jail deputy who oversees women inmates as part of my daily assignments. I can answer any questions anyone has. I must caution that jail is not prison. But I can tell you about women inmates at my level if anyone is interested. I spent two months in a county jail. A couple times in different jails. I was very dumb in my early 20s. Among my charges I was jailed for were a failure to appear in court for driving an unregistered vehicle. Long story. Sharp lifting from fricking Claire's. Contempt of court for not paying fines for my possession of weed pipe charge. That was the longest stay of 59 days. Really the only way I could describe it was like living in a girls only low income area middle school. I personally found a few other white girls who were semi normal and in there for minor things like DUI, underage drinking and one girl was super naive and was talked into writing out Q check to herself from her roommate's checkbook to pay bills. She was 19 and had never smoked a cigarette, or touched weed or alcohol. She was a sweetheart and told me everything there is to know about Johnny Depp. My first week or so there was rough, O was rooming with some pretty mean ghetto black chicks. I am 5 feet 0 100 pounds little white girl. One girl stole my butterfinger I bought with the tiny amount of commissary I had. So I confronted her and she tried to fight me. Even though I clearly saw the freaking wrapper in her bunk she denied taking it. Anyway, I told the guard I didn't feel safe in that room so she moved me in with the 19 year old. We actually ended up having a lot of fun. It was like a sleepover every night. Then some crazy M head girl moved in with us too. She was out of her mind, but entertaining nevertheless. I mostly just read lots of books. 28 total. 
and hung out with the few people I found to be normal there. I still talk to a few of them. Actually, it's definitely not a place I ever want to go again, but I'm glad I was able to find a few like-minded people and get through it. The worst part was that gap of time between dinner and breakfast, and when you don't have money for commissary it's tough watching everyone else eat their snacks. But my friends always shared with me. Also, the correction system actually worked for me. I straightened out and haven't been in trouble since then. Another time I went to jail for two weeks from the shoplifting thing. I got lice in jail. Was quarantined with another girl who also had lice. Needless to say, their lice treatment did not work. And the lice festered to an unimaginable point. We picked lice out of each other's hair every day and tried drowning them in a cup of water. But they don't freaking die. Also people treat you like the grossest thing to walk the planet when you have lice in jail. I spent a Monday through Friday in jail a couple weeks ago after some troubles from earlier this year. There's not a lot I can say about my time because I spent the whole week sitting in a cell by myself trying to go back to sleep. No one to talk to and no way to leave. It was just me in a room with a slot and the door for food. I didn't ask for anything or attempt to communicate with officers because I ultimately just wanted to be as inoffensive as possible and not cause any trouble. It was freezing cold, at least to someone who had zero physical movement, and there was no way to tell time. I counted breakfast and read, reread, reread again my paperwork stating how phone calls worked and when I'd get out. All in all I found it very draining. Mentally exhausting just trying to keep occupied while having zero stimulus. Jail food is not as bad as elementary school food was. The officer who released me seemed excited to have a good job that day where he's dealing with people who want to put their real clothes back on and gtfo. Technically I was in women's prison, though it was 5 days. So all I can comment on is the fact that the overcrowding thing can be real ath. The cells held 2 bunkbs each. And the entire hallway was lined with extra bunkbs because it was over full. There's a whole lot of prison officers. 95% good and 5% bad reading these comments now. I'm one myself. Let me tell you. There is some crap that goes on in prison that you wouldn't believe. This type of crap is committed by the 5%. Please don't believe that every officer is corrupt. Uncaring. Indifferent. Last night I talked a prisoner out of a noose and his weapons with no violence from either party. But tonight when I checked up on him he asked for Panadol. Tylenol. I guess. And I didn't have any so he threatened to kill me and violate my wife and kids. This kind of crap and worse is what we as good officers put up with daily. So please, members of the public, if we seem a bit stressed, just remember what we do to keep you safe. Prisoners, if we seem preoccupied it's because we have huge castle loads, sometimes hundreds of others and can't spend all our time dealing with you. I was a volunteer tutor at a juvenile detention center. The boys and girls were separated. The boys were pretty well behaved and polite. The girls program was shut down due to an incident that happened over 5 years ago. The director of the program told us he tries not to remember what shut it down, but told us the boys are much easier to handle than the girls. He looked like a man who had seen some things. I can tell you from my experience working at one that females are the most stressful inmates to deal with. That they nag and be constantly and will get pleasure out of giving you a hard time in the most childish ways imaginable. It's even worse for the female employees. Bulls, they're all best friends. I saw orange is the new black. Liar. I spent a week in youth jail when I was 15. It wasn't too bad because majority of the girls went in for violent crimes. After 3 days I'd made friends with the rest of the girls and that worked to my advantage later. About 6 months before, I'd been hanging out with the wrong crowd and I was gang bashed by a group of 10-15ish girls for no reason other than I had become friends with one of their boyfriends. The main instigator later ended up in the same unit as me and my friends. For the rest of my time there they proceeded to bully and antagonize this girl. I felt kind of bad considering she looked so scared and lonely but I couldn't help but be a little bit happy she experienced a fraction of what I felt when I was attacked. I love Orange is the New Black but whenever I watch it I can't help but think they got it really good. I bet real prison is much much worse. One of my friends did time. She was in two different prisons. 
In one she had to work hoeing fields in a chain gang with guns pointed at her. In the other, she had prison guards bringing her subway and she worked at the store. She said there was a bullet there and it was easy. I spent 30 days in jail after drinking underage at 19 years of age, my first offense, but my mouth got my bond revoked so I sat there until my court date. It was horrible. The girls were beyond mean and hygiene in general was lacking. Ironically, my skin got really clear bc I had no makeup and I bathed as much as possible in there. The food was lukewarm garbage. We usually had cold grits and warm milk for breakfast, and bologna sandwiches on hard bread for lunch. I once traded a roll of toilet paper for a twin package of Dunkin' Sticks. Guard snuck me Jolly Ranchers and Snickers bite sized candies BC they said it was BS that I was in there. Other guards had it out for me and would drag their flashlights along my cell bars to keep me up at night. It was too light, but I made a face mask out of a pad. We used newspaper as rollers for our hair to get ready for church. I wasn't in general population BC I talk too much crap. Which was good BC I got to bathe separately from the other girls. Overall, it was heck. I was only in there for 30 days. But it felt like an eternity and it was shocking how quickly I acclimated to jail life. I wouldn't wish jail on my worst enemy. I'm not a woman and I have never been to prison. But I have seen Orange as the new black. Evidently, it is a really difficult place to be for about one season. And after that... It's sort of like living at a boarding school with very lax acceptance policies. I worked in one for a few months. It was honestly like a reform school. The women there seemed like children that needed help. Women are very different creatures than men. They rely a lot on relationships and they are defined by their relationships. Many of the women formed relationships with one another, whether it was carnal or romantic. Men in prison, when frustrated or sad or angry, would act out in violence. Women would cry or show their emotions in other less harmful ways. A lot of the inmates are non-violent. I had murderers clean my work area and take out my trash. It was a safe environment, but we, as staff, always had to be safe. They work for a living as well. A lot of them had a job, whether it was in the cafeteria, cleaning, gardening, etc. They could also take classes at the prison. If they didn't have their high school diploma, they were enrolled into a GED program. Some were working on their college degrees. It really wasn't anything special. Many people that worked there loved it over working at a men's prison. It's much calmer, according to them, and the inmates are a lot more respectful and genuine of the services offered to them. My dad used to work in a women's prison. He told me that most of the women there were really nice people. I can imagine women's prisons are mostly a lot less dangerous. My best friend just got out of 2 years in county. I know a good bit already, but I could ask her to talk about it more if people are more interested. We're going to watch Oit NB together and she's going to tell me what's realistic and what isn't. County jail and federal prison are two completely different environments. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.